Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we will discuss the latest update from Windows 11, which is the monthly update on Tuesdays, the KB5010386. So this update comes with a lot of fixes and improvements, but first of all, let's make sure that you know how to update your computer. So if you press the Windows button, then you can select the settings icon and afterwards you can click on Windows Update on the left pane. Usually on the right side you have a blue check for updates button right here and then you can press it and Windows will try to install automatically all the updates required. As you can see, I'm already updating my PC. Note that you have to wait a bit until the update will install and then the computer will restart. So let's have a discussion about the fixes after Windows will update. So here we are with the new Windows update installed on our PC. If you want to check this version, make sure to click on the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards click on Windows update on the left pane and lastly on the right side click on update history. Now, as you can see, the latest update is for Windows 11 x64 base system KB5010386. So this is how you check if you have the latest update. Otherwise, you can click again on Windows Update on the left pane and then you can press on the Check for Updates button. If Windows will say that you're all set, then it means you have the latest update installed on your PC. And now let's move to the fixes. So what makes this month's release worth focusing on? Well, Microsoft delivered us a few fixes in the following areas. The auto-hide feature of the taskbar. This has been an ongoing issue as sometimes if the auto-hide feature was enabled, you simply could not bring back your taskbar even if you were trying to hover over it. So let's just check it out by enabling the auto-hide feature. Right-click on the taskbar, then select the taskbar settings option. Now in here, if you scroll down on the right side, you have a drop-down menu related to taskbar behaviors. So select it. In here, under Taskbar Alignment, you have an option that says Automatically hide the taskbar. So tick the box next to it. As you can see, the taskbar is already disappearing. So if you hover over it with the mouse cursor, you'll see that it now appears safely and precisely. So there's no issues with it. Maybe there was some conflicting apps that prevented the taskbar from showing up, but now it should be solved. Another important fix is the app icons display. Basically, this was an issue that some app icons were still displaying even after closing your app, as if the apps were still running. That could easily make me think that my computer is running really slow, but it didn't seem like the case. When it comes to the volume icon on the taskbar, well, that was also fixed. Sometimes the taskbar appeared as if it were muted, even though it wasn't. So from now on, that means you won't have a problem anymore with watching all kinds of content and be surprised that the volume is still up and running. Coming back to the taskbar section, another issue was resolved, and it relates to the taskbar icons being prevented from showing up on a secondary display. So basically, the taskbar on a secondary display was blank or empty, but now the icons are not prevented anymore and they show up in a proper manner. Moving on, seems like Microsoft fixed some browsing issues with File Explorer which was affecting the search performance. That seems quite nice of them because this is an important issue for many people who needed this fixed. And when it comes to the image category, Windows has now improved auto brightness with a better response under low light conditions on all the supported systems. Not sure how many people use this feature, but seems like Microsoft is being really attentive to the user's needs. And lastly, another important fix, in some image editing programs, there were issues with rendering colors correctly. So yeah, this probably affected many of us who work within the media industry. Good one, Microsoft. And now moving on to the features section. One big feature that was problematic for many of us was solved. Microsoft brought a new feature in this update and it's quite cool. Basically, it relates to your account information. So if you wanted to see some of the information on your account, you had to press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on accounts on the left pane, and then on the right side you had to click on your info category. In here, if you wanted to see some of the information that pertain to your account, you had to click under related settings on the account section, which took you to a browser which was really tiring. And yeah, it was just a mess. So if you close this now, you can just back up or just click on accounts again. And you see that you have an option that says your Microsoft account. So click on it. Now you can see subscription information, payment option, order history, account and billing help which is super, super cool, which I think saves a lot of time from accessing your browser and having to log in. And lastly, another great feature that Microsoft implemented with this version of the OS is the Help With feature, which was also present in Windows 10. 
So let's take an example of the Help With feature, which brings more options to the Settings window. Click on System for example, then select Display on the right side, and if you scroll down now you have a new section that says Help With Display. So now you can get more info about how to set up multiple monitors, change screen brightness, adjust font size, and many other options. I think that's pretty cool and it also saves a lot of time and brings new functionality to the Windows users. And that's pretty much it. Plenty of fixes and new features. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.